What's up guys, I hope you're enjoying your weekend. I literally need to clean this truck out. I mean, there's absolutely no more room in the truck. And so I thought, hey, why don't I just show you guys some of the things that I accumulate as a contractor in this truck. Okay, so can't make it through a day without a couple of Chico. That's definitely trash. Um, you know, I have lots of receipts, lots of receipts, and I need to clear all this out. But I will say this, when I don't have a notepad, which uh, I just got from the supplier today, um, these turn into uh, notepads for doing bids and estimates. So, and making notes. So, receipts, I'm gonna keep those. Gloves, gotta have those. Notepad, like I said, need that. Uh, bottle opener for Topo Chico, I'm gonna keep that in the truck. Sunglasses, uh, I, I really don't make it well without sunglasses. I gotta have sunglasses. Um, that extra, you know, uh, Manfrotto uh, tripod for shooting videos. Um, master lock, lots of extra business cards, set of Allen wrenches right there, plenty of pins to write with, uh, set of headphones. Um, some of you guys don't know, but I am a musician and uh, another set of sunglasses, gotta have a stack of business cards. Gotta have business cards. I got the 30 foot measuring tape for if I'm getting measurements for outside or in a big, large uh, remodel on a house. And then sometimes for just a small bathroom remodel, I'll take this uh, Fat Max 16 foot. Um, let's see what else. Um, Bucky's shopping at Bucky's. <laughs> That's trash. Uh, let's see. A can of window and door spray foam. I don't recommend you leave home without that. So, you know, definitely needed to clean this out for some time. Ooh, what do we have here? This shows a little bit of the history of the drinks that I like to drink. There you go. That, my friends, Topo Chico caps. I think it's time to chunk those. Okay. All right, now we can go to the back seat. Okay, so I just picked this up actually for Black Friday. This is the blower I had to blow off my Mil Milwaukee M18 series with a pack out go bag with all my batteries and things like that in there. So extra layers of, oh, let's drop a couple batteries. Extra layers of clothing. Gotta have that for the cold days like today. Oh, keep this full set, 37 piece, half inch drive mechanics tool set. We use usually keep this on uh, hand uh, in case we need to tighten up the uh, skid steer tracks on the Kubota. So kind of got to keep that with me at all times. So that's probably going to go back in the truck. This is the Bosch hammer driver drill uh, that I use for just chipping away a little bit of concrete, whatever. Pretty much you need drill holes for your drive pins on the base angle for the building. We got it ready. Just in case my guys don't show up with their tools, uh, we're gonna be more prepared. Um, more receipts, sets of plans. I actually went over these in one of the last videos. Lots of plans. 
the back seat. Okay, you gotta have your wheel roller uh, measuring device for if you're running off a fence, you know, you don't wanna have to get that uh, big measuring tape out. Use that for. That's a great tool to have. I actually took that with me. I went to go measure a job in North Carolina, put it on it on the, in the suitcase. It's a big job. Um, Got to have your mug boots. So uh, definitely big fan of these boots. Take those with me everywhere I go. This big box, let's get rid of this for now. This is the Bosch uh, laser level that uh, I use to measure heights on the, you know, uh, making sure that our beams are straight and in line and we can double check the height. Actually, I just used this uh, a couple days ago. Um, more Topo Chico. <laughs> Nestle Crunch. I have Topo Chico. More gloves. Gonna need that. More receipts. Need that. <laughs> the Dewalt 300 foot tape. Um, like I said, being that I need to measure jobs um, in any given situation, um, I keep that on me at all times as well. So you got to keep all formats of measuring capabilities. So it's an estimator. Um, it's key to have that, the wheel roller, the different size measuring tapes. This is uh, my book pad, my notepad here. Got my business cards, uh, my notes, things like that, where you can see I might draw off a material list or use some old rec <laughs> receipt papers to make notes. I'll keep all that stuff in here. And if I've ever come to your house to uh, do a takeoff, you might see me carrying that book. Um, gotta keep that. Um, this is a, actually a uh, little Kima Fun uh, microphone. So, plugs into my cell phone. If uh, Drew's not with me, I can still um, I can still uh, get decent audio, so I'll probably keep that in there as well. And that's not it. That's the plans. So, got to have the safety vest for all job sites. Of course, a hard hat, so we can be safe. <laughs> Carpet samples tripod, um, binoculars. So if I'm trying to spot hail damage on a roof, extra set of screws. Oh, this is key for uh, bathroom and kitchen remodels, um, grout samples. So we can pick colors. I don't know why it's not in here, but I normally have like a Sherwin-Williams uh, color uh, wheel as well. There's some sealant, some extra bond sealant. Uh, mold control and disinfectant. Had no idea that was in here. <laughs> what the heck? So, probably don't need this in my truck every day. Um, this is my front license plate. Everybody always asks me why I don't put that on. But carpet samples solar screen samples. Uh, let's see what's on this side. Oh, some electrical tools in case I need to rewire something real quick. Uh, you know, got some wire strippers, stuff like that. Let's see, let's see one thing right here. USB charger for my iPhone. Um, we've got contracts. There, glass wipes. Okay, guys, it's a big mess. I really need to clean this up. So, oh, square. 
think that about covers it. It's a big mess. Definitely need to clean it up. So you might say, well, if your truck is that disorganized, you know, uh, how can you be a good contractor? And I would just say, look, these are my, this is my office. I gotta have these things with me. And if you don't have them, uh, you'll be ill prepared. But if I have to empty out my truck to find the tools that I need, I got it right here. So, but no, I actually don't function well when things are disorganized. And um, so that's when I know it's about time to come reconstruct some organization in my truck. So that's what I'm doing today.